now I'd just like to turn our attention, uh, Jeff and I would, to uh, our two most uh, prestigious annual awards, uh, our Lifetime Achievement Awards. We do these awards once a year at this event, and um, we have two very special honorees to recognize this evening. Uh, it's my job to uh, introduce um, the professional of the year, and so I'm going to talk about the, um, the, the uh, person that the award is named after, and that's William Pratt. William Pratt's credit union career spanned more than 30 years. He began his 33-year career in 1935 as a charter member of the Philadelphia DuPont Priscelli Employees Federal Credit Union. Two years later, he was elected to the Pennsylvania Credit Union Association Board of Directors. But from 1942 to 1965, he served in my role as executive director of the association. During his tenure, Pennsylvania's credit union movement grew from 550 to 1,300 credit unions. To honor his legacy, the Pennsylvania Credit Union Association established the William uh, W. Pratt Lifetime Achievement Award to recognize an outstanding professional credit union leader. Now, before we invite this year's recipient to the podium, uh, let's, uh, let's hear from those who know Cookie Yoder the best. <laughs> a wealth of information. She is so doggedly persistent about pursuing what she thinks is right and what's, what's best for people. She's just been a special person with the board because she cares about our thinking. She has been my mentor for many years. She just keeps going forward and trying to do the right thing. She came in here seven years ago when this credit union really needed help. The credit union was a little bit stagnant when she came to us and we were fortunate to get her. But I remember starting at the board at the same time and I would look at these issues that we had on our agenda and I would think, how are we ever going to get through this? And uh, Cookie would just sit there and be very calm and say, how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? There are many times when we all feel overwhelmed and I know that the job here at the credit union when she took over was very overwhelming. But she never wavered in trying to do the right thing for the membership. And I often think back that she did exactly what she said she was going to do, address these issues one bite at a time. Well, I think one of my favorite stories about Cookies is how she cares about the community around us. Allegheny County, I worked for Allegheny County for nine years, but uh, she immediately jumped in uh, to Allegheny County and worked with the people at Kane Hospital to bring them into the credit union. My favorite story, I think, to tell about Cookie is when she came back from the DE program when she went years ago and had a week or two in Madison, Wisconsin. And she came back and was so punch buggy happy and so credit union committed that the enthusiasm that she put off to everybody that day and just how tough of a regiment they went through and the training and everything. And she turned that into a lifetime career and she is good at what she does. She had the membership bring toys for the tots at Christmas. And we, before school started, we collected uh, some pencils and books for the kids for school. Those are the things to me that make her special other than being a great leader of the board. She has been a part of my family for many years and she is the godmother to my firstborn child. How much better does it get? Well, not many people know this, but uh, Cookie has a secret passion for her puppy Max. Until I got to know her better, I didn't know about little Max. I just think it's really cute that 
you have this amazing, no-nonsense businesswoman running the credit union, but when you peel that away, she is just this warm, snuggly, dog-loving owner of Little Max, who is so cute, and Cookie, we love him too. <laughs> Hey, I just wanted to send my sincere congratulations to you. You did it. You got this amazing award that I could not think of anyone else who's more deserving. So I just wanted to offer a few thoughts. Number one, what I think makes you so special is your compassion, your, your absolute genuine personality, your caring. You epitomize to me what makes credit union people so special. And there's no one else like you. Um, one quote that I think summarizes you to me is um, most people uh, do not think that they can achieve something, but to some people they can achieve anything, and you were that person that convinced me that I could do this. So thank you from the bottom of my heart, and congrats. I'm so happy for you and well-deserved working with you for seven years and a couple weeks I think uh, I can't tell everybody at, at this crowd what a great leader you have been to this board and the changes that you have made uh, I, I knew this as soon as we sat down seven eight years ago and talk, uh, talked about hiring you I'm so glad I did I know it's one of the best things I've ever done Cookie I wanted to congratulate you with all my heart on receiving this award it takes a very special person to be able to devote their life to a lifetime of service to others. And you have that special touch. I would like to say congratulations on winning this award, but clearly you've earned this award. Uh, they couldn't have picked anyone better. Congratulations. Congratulations, buddy. You did a good job. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to announce the 2018 recipient of the William W. Pratt Lifetime Achievement Award, Cookie Yoder, my dear friend, Cookie Yoder. start here. Yikes. Um, they don't let you see that film ahead of time, so I'm, they've slightly taken my breath away. Um, I just said to a very, very dear friend 10 minutes ago that I just don't feel I deserve this award. And the reason is that I've done a job that I love, things that I did because I wanted to, um, and I got paid for it. <laughs> so how can you give someone an award on top of all of those things? I was given a lot of opportunities in the 41 years. But the one thing I'd like to say to so many of the young people here is that you need to take those opportunities. Um, over the years, that I went to CUNA Management School in Madison, and I was pretty young back then, and I had never flown alone, never been out of town alone. And when I got there, I went and sat on this bench outside of the dorms and cried. I was devastated. How would I ever make it through two weeks out of town at, I think it was 24 years old. And two weeks later, I came back to that same bench and cried because I had to go home. <laughs> so um, it's just been such a journey. I, um, the credit union development education that I did in 1984, which is 
such a passion to my heart. As Cheryl mentioned on the video, that, that changed. I went from a job to a career going through DE. I'm very, very proud that our very own CEO is also a DE. Pat had a little bit of arm pulling, <laughs> twisting, but he did it. And um, I know Dave from Vizzo is in the room. He's going in two weeks. And you think, oh, you know, I've been in the movement so long, or I haven't been in the movement at all. How is this program going to benefit me? And believe me, my friends, when I tell you that it's a life-changing program of when you look at the credit unions all over the world and the things that they do to help people, to help their members, it's just amazing. I took a chance, an opportunity early in my life, and I served on the Pennsylvania Youth Involvement Board. I don't know of how many people in this room remember that. I had the honor years later to chair that group. It's the, it was all, the only group that knew when you turned 30. They all but took billboards out because when you turned 30, they kicked you off of the program. <laughs> uh, again, what an experience, what an opportunity. As Angel had mentioned, that so many years I had the opportunity to attend, to attend the National Youth Program. I received one of their national awards. And that's an award that is near and dear to my heart because it was the very first award I ever received for my work that I did with the YIB program. Um, yesterday I asked Pat, how long did I have? I wanted an hour. He told me I got five minutes. <laughs> uh, because where do I start with my 23 years on the Pennsylvania Credit Union Board of Directors? Of the things that, that I had the opportunity to have input with, um, I, 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 like I said, I wouldn't know where to start. The youth the youth program that, that we worked on and the Better Choice program. I'm sure Mike Wishnow was in the room that we did a lot of long, hard hours of, of getting that program to work. At the time, we even had the state treasurer's office involved with that program. When I came on the board, there were 28 people with all type A personalities. <laughs> it was rather interesting. And then we thought for sure that it would just automatically go down to 26, which it didn't. So then we had to do another look at the board of directors. And I certainly applaud all of the directors that served and it took it down to nine. And where people like me can't go on as an old fart for 23 years that you now have 12 year term limits. There were just so many things. So many things I, I want to thank you for and, and ask you for. Certainly, the, I had the opportunity to serve on the first foundation board. To ask you all to remember those are our core products, is the foundation board and certainly the PAC. I truly believe that every CEO in the state should be required to donate to the PAC. We're, we won't exist without PAC funds. Um, again, just so many things, but I'm sure I've used my five minutes. I don't, I don't want the music to start and the, the hook to come. Uh, I do want to mention the hardest thing that I ever did on the board was when we hired Pat. In 23 years hiring a CEO, we all certainly knew and loved Jim McCormick, and he was a fixture. And then to have to hire a new CEO. And I congratulate you, Pat, for the job you've done, for walking 
having to come in and walk in someone else's shoes more or less in the beginning that, well, we always did it this way, so why would you want to change something? <laughs> but you've made it your own, you've done a great job, and I congratulate you for that. As we all know, board seats and board decisions are never easy. And I thank the PCUA current board for all their decisions. Um, I'm not retiring. I did have back surgery, and I'm going to be fit as a fiddle to go a lot more years, I, I hope. But so many faces and so many people that I'd love to thank one by one. If you indulge me a little bit, I, I just want to mention a few people, and, and I apologize if I miss anyone, but my friend Leona, she's and I have been friends since diapers. Uh, our parents, our brothers were good friends, and um, she's been a big help with my health this past few days. And my friend Paula Nyhoff, who we served on the board together, and she made the trip in from Johnstown today to be here. My friend, Wendy Kingsland, who applied, submitted the application. We had a small issue in our board. One of the people on the screen found out the day of our board meeting that she had breast cancer. And wasn't able to get the application done. And I said to Wendy, oh, don't worry about it. She's, oh, no, oh, no. So, I mean, Jimmy Ritter, I, I, I don't know if he's in the room. I mean, he, there he is. He and his dad, my God, we go back so many years. Um, just like I said, so many others. And the friends that we all make and the, the things that matter in our lives. And I... Uh, I've been blessed to be able to run a credit union, to have taken this credit union, as they used the word, on the brink. Um, NCUA, I believe, had the merger papers ready to close them down. And, you know, that's always touchy of what you're allowed to say or not say. So, uh, <laughs> but I'm very pleased to be the President and CEO of City Co, and it's been an honor the past seven years, and certainly always been an honor to work with all of you. Thank you. Thank you.